Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Commodity TV here in Zurich at the offices of Zurich Invest. And with me here is now Brian Boss, the vice president of Murenberg and Company. And we want to talk about your lovely research house, I would call it. Brian, good morning. So, Murenberg and Company, what are you guys doing now for the industry? So, Murenberg and Company, uh, we've been operating under that banner for a little over a year. We used to be the in-house research department for economics at Dundee Corporation. Mm -hmm. uh, Martin ran a team there. Martin Mirabild ran a team there for over a decade with uh, almost a dozen people in it. And the research quality was spectacular. And Dundee would hand it out as conversation openers with uh, mining companies or investment banking clients or asset management clients. And what we've done is taken all of that and turned it into a paid subscription model, which allows us to focus on delivering service and quality and allows us to follow the facts wherever they lead us to make better research conclusions. Mm -hmm. So we think of our business as having four major buckets of clients. Mm -hmm. Our largest bucket by far is the global gold mining majors. Mm -hmm. They read our weekly Friday gold monitor report, which Martin writes. And their use case for it is, uh, if you think about those companies are continually producing gold and they need to sell it. Uh, and the treasury operations department in those companies are usually filled with uh, people that have come up through the accounting business, not necessarily through macroeconomics research. So our report helps them have an independent yardstick to value whether today's gold price is a good price to sell the half quarter production yep. or whether this price is something that maybe you want to wait a little better for. Then we'll walk you through the rationale and we publish a forecast that goes out over uh, the next 24 months. Uh, another use case we have is inside the gold mining companies. They're forever having to evaluate future projects. And of course, those valuations are always uh, a function of what the gold price is going to be in the future. Yep. And every decision has to draw from multiple sources. Mm -hmm to come up with an envelope, uh, an envelope of confidence around which you can make your decisions. Mm -hmm. And so we have a service, the, a service we call Research On Demand or PhD Research On Demand. If you have a question about what is the Peruvian price of gold going to be in 2020, mm -hmm. uh, that's not something you can get answered very easily somewhere else. So Absolutely we will, not. Every, every Except you have a crystal ball maybe, I don't know. Well, <laughs> I, don't have a, I don't have a crystal ball, I have a Martin Murin build. And so, yes. Uh, every subscriber is, is available, sorry, every, every subscriber at any time can email us any question mm -hmm. and our PhD staff will go to work and answer that question and send it back to them. Mm -hmm. And what we love about that is that keeps making our business better because, um, you know, we had a request like that last, last quarter, a customer who's an asset manager was asking us about the R squared of, I've forgotten what the item was now. Uh, but we realized that nobody had really tackled that problem, so we did it. We provided the answer back to our subscriber for free. And then six months later, after they'd made use of the information, we thought it was still relevant and rare enough information that we put it into our, Friday, our regular Friday report for all readers. Mm -hmm. So by having intelligent customers, it makes us have a better service, which then allows us to keep raising our delivery game for our customers. And then finally, in the gold mining companies, um, everybody needs to know how to fund their projects. Mm -hmm. And so miners often talk about, and bankers too, talk about the mining finance window. Is the window open? Is the window closed? Is the window easier today than it was six months ago? Is it easier today than it was 20 years ago? And right now, the only people you can ask about that is your banker, which is like asking your barber if you need a haircut. So in the last little while, we have come up with... Uh, an objective index that we've yeah. built, which <clears throat> measures the finance window going back over the last 20 years, so to January 1st, 2000. And uh, we've put that out to our subscribers as a beta, and we're asking all of our readers to come back with their advice about how to make the product better, and then we'll probably roll that out as a final version later in 2018. So we keep looking for needs that our customers have that are not being filled by anyone right now, our mm -hmm. readers. Uh, and our advantages are because we're only paid by subscription, we're not selling anything else. Mm -hmm. We don't want you to buy a stock. Mm -hmm. We don't want you to take a 
a loan or an underwriting from us. And all we want is for our brand to get stronger. That's how we're going to do well over time. Mm -hmm. Our second largest bucket of customers is asset managers. So um, some of the global brands who are in uh, general equities, but then have a specialty in resources or a specialty in gold, they will be subscribers of ours because they want to see, again, forecasting prices. Mm -hmm. That matters to them. Again, the finance window matters to them. Uh, our third bucket is brokerage firms, which use either excerpts of our work or ask us to white label their work. Mm -hmm. And then they put it out to their customers on their own. And then our fourth, but by no means least bucket, is uh, people all over the world who want to have an independent valuation of resource, of mm -hmm. gold. Uh, you know, where is it? Why is it here? Where could it be? Mm -hmm. What are the factors that underlie it, both qualitatively and, con and quantitatively? And what does somebody who's been doing this for a living for 40 years mm -hmm. think can happen next? And so those people reach us over the internet and uh, subscribe through that. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So as, as far as I understand it, you are helping like the mining companies, let's say to maximize the profit because they, they can always hold back like three, four, five weeks, some of the sales, right? And when, when they ask you guys and you say, mm, you know what, we have the feeling because gold may be $20, $30 higher and then they sell later and make the extra profit. That, that's one way. Another one is uh, when there is a geopolitical bid in the price of gold, mm -hmm. for example, Let's say um, Kim Jong-un has mm -hmm. taken over all the headlines again and gold has gone up 40 bucks mm -hmm. uh, from 1320 to 1360. For those kinds of companies, the producers, it's really important for them to understand how much of that $40 move is geopolitics that will be gone in a week and a half. Mm -hmm. And how much of it is possibly a change in the fundamental underlyings mm -hmm. and, and we answer that question for them. Perfect. So that's okay. Okay. that sounds great to me. Yeah, that, that really helps the companies. Last question. I would love to have your personal opinion on the gold price. I've been trying <laughs> to get Martin to put into print that gold will be at fifteen hundred bucks during calendar twenty eighteen. He said uh, it already. He did. He said oh, it. Oh, that's yeah, but he said it for twenty nineteen. <laughs> oh. I, I think we're going higher. I think that the yeah. bottom uh, came in uh, late. I think it was it was twenty sixteen, early twenty sixteen, late twenty fifteen. Mm -hmm. um, the first time I bought physical gold was 2002, uh, and I held it until, oh boy, 2011. 11, I, miss, I missed the very top, but yeah. but you know some of the um, some of the market sentiment clues were there, mm -hmm. and uh, now I'm very happy to be in business with Martin. So that's like a synthetic gold exposure mm -hmm. on top of what I already have. Mm -hmm. So we're excited about the next few years. Super. So your personal target? For this year, next year, well above the 1500. <laughs> the name on the door is Mirren Build. Okay. So Martin's <laughs> math is what we're going to go with. Okay, perfect. Well, Brian, thank you very much. It was very exciting. And yeah, I would say keep it going because you do fantastic work. The whole team and Martin, of course, uh, uh, f since forever, it feels yeah, like. He's yeah. really something special. He's <laughs> yeah, fantastic. He's really special and he has a super yeah, bright knowledge and view also on the things. And as you said, it independent. That's important. Yeah, it is. It right. is. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Vice President Brian Boss from Murrumbad and Company. And you heard it also, he is bullish on the gold price. You should uh, really check out Murrumbad and Company, check out the reports and also to the mining companies watching us. I think it's a fantastic service they are providing. Maybe you should speak to the guys and uh, yeah, maximize the profits. That's always helping. Thanks for watching us. Bye-bye from Zurich.